Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you can find um, UK proxies and how, why people use them. Now basically a proxy server is a, a server that sits in between you and the website you visit so it routes all your connection. Now the people people use them for different reasons to speed up their connection sometimes people use it for security uh, they also use it to hide their location because if you um, go through a proxy server the website you visit is only aware of if it's configured correctly uh, the proxy server you're um, you're using the location of the proxy server rather than your real location so people will use it to access things like uh, BBC iPlayer or any of the UK TV channels when they're outside the country normally if you go to the BBC website and try and go to uh, use BBC iPlayer and you're outside the country uh, you'll get this message saying BBC iPlayer TV programs are available to play in the UK only. Uh, that's because at the moment I've got an I, uh, a foreign IP address. Uh, I'm not in the UK, so it won't let me use BBC iPlayer. Okay, and uh, all the other TV channels are the same. Uh, and the same would happen if you go to the US channels like Hulu, uh, um, HBO, NBC, stuff like that. And Australia, France, Canada all do the same. Uh, so this is why people use the UK proxy. So let me just show you quick two quick options you've got here. First of all, you can go down the free route. The free route, uh, the main thing to do is that the difficult bit is to find the uh, UK part of the proxy. There's thousands of proxy servers out there. They're um, the free to use ones. You've got to be a bit careful with them because basically they're misconfigured ones. Nobody's going to put a free proxy server for you to use on purpose. They do it accidentally. It might be hacked. The ones that you can use with the permission uh, usually put adverts and stuff around it to, to help pay for the bandwidth cost, obviously. So if you're looking for one of these servers, say you wanted to watch BBC iPlayer, just close that, try somewhere like proxy.org. Proxy.org has been around for years. It lists all thousands of um, proxy servers, and which, which obviously need to be updated. They fall over very quickly. So it updates uh, a few times a day with different servers. So you can you can go to the website proxy.org and um, what you can do if you move down you'll find that they list them by countries as well so you can go in and find proxies that are based in the UK so if you want to specifically access a UK only resource or a US only resource you can go there <coughs> they can be a bit slow they do push their own um, paid ones which um, I believe will be fairly good but uh, uh, I've not really used those. I haven't used free proxies for some years now. I, I found them a bit of a hassle, to be honest. But they're there. If you want to try it, go, go ahead and have a look here. Uh, they're all listed, proxy.org site. I'm going to show you the way I do it now. Uh, I use a paid service. Um, I've tried most of them, and I've settled on one that I have used for, I think, about five years now, four years, something like that. It's called Identity Cloaker, and I'm just going to show you how it works, and I'll, I'll show you how you can get a uh, UK proxy to use through here uh, right here we go there's um, identity cloaker so this is a little uh, software that sits in your taskbar down here and it allows you to basically connect to a UK whichever proxy server you require uh, they've got hundreds of them and they're all included so if I want to watch BBC iPlayer for instance as explained I need to go to a UK proxy server so let's just select a UK one connect there Oh, it's gone to a U. There we go. It's the UK one. Sorry, I obscure these because it, it's safer that people don't know the IP address. And here we go. Now right, we're going through a UK proxy server now. So any website I go to will see me as being through the UK. If I've selected a US one or a French one or a German one, that there's Portuguese, Spanish, whatever. The same would apply. Okay, so, but I, I won't going to demonstrate uh, accessing BBC iPlayer. So let me just minimize that and we'll go back to the BBC website. Okay, BBC iPlayer. Uh, now I'm going to refresh this because it sometimes gets confused. And let's try and watch uh, Wonders of the Monsoon, uh, a great program, well worth watching, David Attenborough. And see if we can watch this. Because now, remember, I'm through a UK proxy. So let's press play. And this time. I hope you can see it works fine. Um, we can go and watch it. Watch it in full screen. Oh. Uh, the the identity cloaker servers are all 
professionally managed and really, really high speed. So you won't notice any difference in uh, speed when you're watching the program. So we can watch that. And I could equally go to ITV Player, any of the British sites now and watch that. Let me just stop that. And um, it'll work fine, okay? And if I want to go to the American ones, I can go to those too. Uh, the, the Identity Cloaker also works on um, tablets, like you can set up VPN connections using Identity Cloaker. Uh, it's explained in their memory, members areas on how to set up VPNs on your iPad or Android tablet or smartphone, whatever. Works great. So there's the two ways, the, the, the free way, Use um, proxy.org and search there. Try that, by all means. Um, Identity Cloaker is my recommendation. It's one I've been using for years. There are lots of others out there, so um, search around and try them. They tend to be around about the same price, I think. Identity Cloaker is one of the cheapest, but there, there are uh, uh, lots of different ones. Um, try, see which one works for you. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening. I'll finish there. It's my video on UK proxies. Thank you, and bye-bye.